Hey everyone, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me today for this one. It's been a few weeks since we did one. Uh, like I, I said before, I am having some problems finding a mod that I want to spotlight until 2.0 comes out, but man, I found a good one today, and I feel like I maybe did this a long time ago because the name sounds familiar, but I don't really remember doing it uh, because I, I think I would remember uh, since it's pretty, pretty sweet. So Extended Descriptions is the mod that we are spotlighting today. And the name sounds simple, but before you like back out of the video or something, this is actually insane, insanely helpful. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say this is an insane mod. It is an insane mod, but it's also insanely helpful. And I think a lot of this information should be in the base game. And I kind of hope that the devs like steal this idea or implement some of this into 2.0. So what this does is this essentially just adds all the information you could possibly want to know, at least that I can think of, two items that is not normally displayed in the base game. Now, my thinking is that the devs probably don't have all this information because it would create more clutter, confuse new players, which I can kind of understand, but you could make it, you know, an option you could turn on and off. But let's just go over some stuff. So this affects basically everything, but there's a few key things that it really, really is helpful with. So for most things, it will show in the actual item crafting menu here, but a few things, it doesn't give the extra info until it's actually placed just to make it less cluttered. So inserters are an, uh, are an example here. Uh, so stack size, uh, that is something that's not displayed in vanilla, and that obviously means what the item stacks in, not what the hand stack size is. I know that would, that's maybe a little confusing. You can see down there, it says hand stack size one plus two. Uh, now the rotation speed I believe is just normally in the game. The stack size though is not, and that's helpful. And then also, uh, I'm pretty sure the stack size isn't. It's hard to remember all, all the things that are aren't. But what's super helpful is once you actually place an inserter, it gives you this huge breakdown on the right there of the stack size of, of like the rough items per second. Now this is kind of estimated or rounded. It's not 100% exactly perfect, I don't think, but it's pretty close and it, you can see chest to chest and chest to belt, and then belt to chest. But you can see there with stack size three, this moves 2.43 items a second. Uh, if you go to a stack inserter, this is 27.72 items a second, which I happen to know is basically exactly accurate because uh, that's an, uh, a number that I do remember. And uh, and that's chest to chest, of course, uh, chest to, ida, uh, to belt or vice versa is different, but that's super helpful. And then, even something I would say almost more helpful is when you mouse over a solar panel or an accumulator, it gives you the ratio. It gives you some information. Uh, and again, some of this may be vanilla, but what vanilla doesn't give you is it gives you over there on the right ratio per accumulator 25 to 21. And then this is obviously the reverse of that 21 to 25. And that's just so, so nice. Now you can of course look this up, you know, there's plenty of sources to find this, but if you don't want to do that or you don't even think of it like as a new player this is so helpful another one is like radar it shows the view range and the scan range and the scan time i don't think any of this is displayed in vanilla and this is really really useful i honestly didn't even know the scan range uh, because it doesn't ever tell you know it doesn't tell you and i never really pay attention uh but you know that's really great another thing too is it shows you the dimensions of every single building so you can see along with other info too so it shows you the module slots as well and the dimensions so similar to two model slots three by three this similar three is four model slots three by three you know refinery you can see it's on all this stuff right so it shows you all of this even labs it'll show you the module slots another really nice thing is it shows you now for anybody who's played the game for quite a while you know, you probably just know this, I know this, but uh, if, if you don't know this, productivity from modules can only, like productivity models can only affect intermediate items, but you may not know that, or sometimes it's hard to remember, but this just tells you, you can see at the very top there, just under the name and the mod change, you can see affected by productivity. So you can mouse like, okay, oh yeah, so iron is affected by productivity. Okay, but none of these are because they don't say it, which again, some of you, you know, a lot of us may know, but this is just really useful information to have on there. And this works with, it says it sports all mods and there's tons of screenshots on the mod portal of it working with modded stuff. Uh, so it can just implement with mods where this would be even another level of uh, helpful and, and great information. And, you know, like if we look at 
fuel. I think this is basically, I think this just shows um, all, all this info I showed in vanilla anyway. But then the last thing, I know this is getting kind of long, but the last thing is it shows or brings back resistances for military items, but also for things like vehicles, which this was taken out quite a while ago uh, in, in vanilla. But like, so like the tank has resistances, right? It has explosive, acid, fire, impact, physical. And this used to be a thing quite a long time ago. And then the devs kind of just hit it, uh, which I still don't really understand. I don't entirely agree with that, but I really like having it back. So it does it for vehicles, not the Spider-Tron seemingly, unless maybe for clutter, they just only do it when you place it. Uh, so it, it, it kind of just doesn't show that, which is interesting. But uh, other military items, of course, uh, show it if, if it is relevant. So like power armor or walls, you know, they will show it. Uh, and there we go. I mean, there's tons of other stuff. It, it's on like everything. You can probably, you know, just take a look through it, all the uh, stuff. There's no research for it. It's just a, an inherent thing. Settings, uh, you can see that there are some settings here in the startup. So you can just check or uncheck if some of this is too cluttered and you don't want it. You can just get rid of it. All this is on by default. Uh, so heat displays max heat capacity as well. So we didn't look at that, but that's an option. And then you can kind of just get an idea generally of what's shown here. Fluid tank size or pressure, which is super nice. Voiding info. Um, this would be, I think, mostly for mods for like voiding fluids. But overall, really great. Highly recommend this. There will, as always, be a link in the description to the mod portal page where you can check it out. And this is something I really, really think I'm going to start using in my playthroughs uh, that, that have mods. And then also, I, I hope that it does bring some of this information into 2.0 because I love it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts down below as well. You know, what you like about this, any thoughts, etc. Any questions, leave them down there and I'll try to answer the best I can. And if you enjoyed, a like is appreciated. If you're new, uh, welcome and feel free to subscribe if you aren't already to keep up with all future content. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.